This fucking lead, though. You know, it's actually not surprising to me at all that I didn't hit anything with all this time that I've had. I'm not surprised one fucking bit. Oh, speaking of weenies, I have a small story to tell. <laughs> Get it? Weenies? Small? Small weenies? That was just fucking rude. All right, so the story. So I'm gonna take you guys back. This is when I was in high school. It's a couple years ago. I'm not sure if this was my junior or senior year. Now, where I went to school, it was actually a vocational school. So there was like special shit that you could do there. Like it was more of like a career path kind of school thing as compared to just like normal high school anyway. You could actually go there and get small little degrees and stuff like that before you even get into college. Like for example, I'm not now, but I was certified to work on cars and shit like that. I was certified to work on brakes and suspension and some engine, no electrical though. Electrical was fucking hard. So with me going to a school that's a vocational school, there were all sorts of other majors and shit there. There's like auto mechanics, auto body, uh, computer science, uh, A plus or computer like engineering type of classes. There was also normal engineering for like building buildings and shit. There was a ton of different majors and shit that you could have gone with in the school. And one of them just so happened to be culinary, the culinary arts, cooking. And in school or even, you know, just in life, there are male and female dominated majors and shit like that, career path. It is known that more guys will go towards auto mechanics as compared to, well, girls will go more towards culinary arts and just arts in general. Although there were some exceptions. What the fuck? I didn't know that they put millimeter scanners on fucking sentry guns now. So with people being, you know, split amongst up the classes and shit like that, you know how high school is. Everybody just starts rumors and shit. There's like things that people hear about. Whether they're made up or not, everybody ends up hearing about it some way or another until it's all cleared up or whatever the fuck it may be. And there was this disgusting rumor going around for culinary arts. And I'm, I'm going to try to say this as uh, PG-13 rated as possible. There was a girl that I sort of knew. I didn't know her very well or anything. I spoke to her a couple times. She seemed okay. I guess she didn't seem like the nicest girl in the world, but she was okay. I could tolerate her. Her name was Holly. Okay. And this Holly was, uh, she was, she was not the most fit uh, girl in the world. She was overweight. That I could say that as just as kindly as possible. Now, I feel kind of bad, you know, talking about her or even making fun of her at any point in this video, but there, there were times where I've seen her argue with people and they she just completely just shits on people and just doesn't really care about everybody. But she was always generally nice to me, but I'm just going to assume that she, she's a pretty mean person. Now, to describe what she looked like, she was, you know, overweight, you know, two chins, three chins maybe, you know, all that. I didn't want to look too long. Kind of, you could hear her breathing at all times. When she talked, it sounded like her tongue was attempting to get off of a waterbed. She was blonde and she kind of resembled a female version of Seth Rogen. Now, while Seth Rogen is a beautiful man, as a woman, I, I, I just, I don't think it works as well. So there were people that would make fun of her, but she was like kind of like a strong individual kind of girl. Like she would just like curse out anybody that talked shit to her and all this other stuff. She was a big, you know, she was pretty much a loud mouth. People would make fun of her because she kind of stereotypically fits for culinary. You know, she's a girl and she's overweight. People were always like, oh, that's the perfect major for you. People would make fun of her all the time and shit like that because she was kind of an asshole to other people. Did I just get fucking, what just happened? I, I saw a shot. Oh. Okay? So people would make fun of her for her size and she would argue with people left and right. And then this rumor came around. There was a rumor that this girl, Holly, um, she was in culinary, as you know, and lunch, they would serve up hot dogs. I guess in the back as everybody was like leaving classes or whatever, cause she was kind of like the head type of person in that situation. She would sit around and she would be like the senior in like the freshman class and shit like that. She would always be in culinary for some odd reason. Like I never saw her in any other class except culinary. I don't know if she was left alone. I don't know how this came about, but there was a rumor that spread that uh, she was caught masturbating with a hot dog. Uh, in in the back of culinary in the back of the kitchen basically now I don't know how true that is I heard that it was a frozen hot dog and she had put, put it in you know in, in her in her thing and it actually had gotten stuck because it was cold with hot and I, I don't know why a girl would ever do that I would never put cold into a warm place but apparently it got stuck and they had to call an ambulance and she went to the hospital and we saw an ambulance and there was no other explanation besides that and I, I just assume it's true now why the fuck she would do that I, I i don't well okay i can understand why she would masturbate but not in school everybody masturbates i don't give a fuck i'm trying to imagine what it looked like it looked like a hot dog going into an oversized bun a furry bun this dog oh, 
Uh, I would have put two and two together and figured, you know, I would not put something cold that is fucking frozen in a place that is warm. That's like common fucking sense. That's like sticking your tongue on a frozen pole. Look, it's stuck. I don't understand why she didn't just wait for it to thaw out and then just not tell anybody. I don't know why you would freak the fuck out. I just leave it there. Unless she got caught or something. I don't know the whole fucking story. Sounds ridiculous, I know. But whenever people made fun of her uh, openly, whenever I heard, you know, people arguing with her, they would make fun of her. And she didn't deny it. She would just tell them to shut up where she would shut up. Our school had desserts too that's like me going into culinary and start fucking the donuts that they had that's just fucking stupid like you couldn't wait until you got home and like got one out of your fridge or something you freak so basically after that incident after she was basically everybody saw her get carted outside into the fucking ambulance with a hot dog stuck in her vagina obviously her pants were on but you know what i'm saying everybody saw her get carted off and ever since then she had the uh nickname hot dog holly hot dog fucking holly this is like the reverse version of my richard smalls video dick smalls and hot dog holly i'm gonna have so many stories to tell my kids or grandkids